Okay, so we've looked at poor phonemic awareness, poor synthesis blending of sounds, poor working memory as being a third component. Now let's talk about this idea of rapid automatized naming because this is different than working memory, okay? Rapid automatized naming is the ability to name aloud known items. So these are things that are already in your long-term memory. You have learned them. You have mastered them. You have learned them. The question is, how quickly can you recall it? How quickly can you bring that information to mind? So think about when, when often when they test this with students, they're, you're looking at testing uh, what we would consider to be very simple things because we want to make sure that it's something that they know. They already know. We want What we're wanting to test is not whether they know it or not. What we're wanting to test is how quickly can they recall it? How quickly can they bring that information up to mind? So it might be, you know, some pictures of things on a page like ball, chair, um, car, things like that that are known items to students. How quickly can they name those things? That's why it's called rapid automatized naming. It's really a, a assessing processing speed. How quickly can you process the information? It connects to retrieval speed of phonological information. So rapid automatized naming, that's what it is. But when we think about how it connects to reading and literacy, how quickly can you retrieve the phonological information in our language? So maybe you know all of your letter sounds. You know all of them. But to bring them to mind, that processing is extremely difficult. But there's like this little hitch every time you're trying to remember it. And that hitch is going to negatively affect your ability to do some of those other tasks. I mean, that little hitch that I might have might negatively affect my working memory because now I have this little split second where I'm having to think about that a second longer. Or maybe it negatively affects my ability to synthesize or blend those sounds together because I have this little hitch in remembering each one of those sounds in the word. Students who are slower than average with RAN typically struggle with word level reading. And you need to know this cannot be directly remediated. I couldn't say to Karen, hey, Karen, I see that your RAN scores are below the, uh, um, the 50th percentile. I'm going to take you for an intervention and we're going to work on your rapid automatized naming. That's not going to do any good. <laughs> There's no like intervention for RAN. But here's the good news. That's the bad news. Here's the good news. When you provide uh, uh, instruction that's evidence-based literacy instruction, what happens is you can remediate not only their, their literacy skills, but their RAN also tends to improve. So it's kind of like you're, you're killing uh, one bird with two, no, one, two birds with one stone. I've got to say that the right way. All right. So while we can't do a RAN intervention through good, systematic, explicit, evidence-based reading instruction, we, will po we can positively affect and improve students' RAN skills. So we're going to play a little game. Are you ready? I'm going to mess with your RAN, your rapid automatized naming right now. Now, what I'm doing to you is something that's that's kind of on purpose. I'm going to interrupt your RAN so that we can see what it feels like to maybe have difficulties with RAN, rapid automatized naming. Okay. So I'm going to, in a moment, I'm going to flash some words up here. Here's what I want your brain to do. I want your brain to name the color, not the word. So I have two examples up there for you. So in other words, you're going to want, your brain is going to want to say blue, but you're going to instead say yellow. Your brain is going to want to say yellow, but you're going to instead say red. Does that make sense? So we are rapidly uh, naming the colors, not the words of the colors. Does this make sense? So I'm going to give you. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to flash this on the screen. I'll tell you when to go. And as fast as you can, I want you all to look very closely at the screen and see how far you can get in 30 seconds. Are you ready? If you do get to the end of the prompt, go back to the beginning and see if you can go even faster. All right, here we go. Ready? Rapidly name the colors, not the word. Ready, go. Is 
Faster, faster, faster. Ten seconds left. Okay, stop. Did you have a little hitch? Was there just like this little minute interruption every time you were trying to recall and bring up that color? That's what it would feel like a little bit. So that's what it would feel like if you had deficits in rapid automatized naming. Okay? just to get a little sense of what that might be like. Rapid automatized naming. 